Yeah, hi guys, just back with some um, Finland mo movie news. I just noticed that this March will be a very uh, like busy um, a month, uh, at least for me who likes good movies. There's uh, like three very good ones that I, he I have heard a lot of good things about that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, to see so these uh, these movies are Logan of the X-Men uh, family or X-Men movie series and Hidden Figures and uh, then uh, Kong Sk Skull Island and let's start with the Hidden Figures because this is a movie that was already uh, nominated for uh, for a couple of Oscars in uh, Sunday nights. Uh, um, yeah, Sunday nights. Uh, Oscar Oscar gala, and it didn't get any, and I was disappointed because what I have heard about this movie is. It's all positive. It's great. It's something that I love. It's about a subject that I like and love very much. It's about NASA, the North American Aerospace Administration, um, and the Apple and the Apollo and uh, and Gemini and Gemini. Uh, uh, space flights. So it's a story about three black women that that work for NASA in very important um, positions, uh, calculating um, flight trajectories for the space flights. But they are not talked about, and they haven't been talked about that much because. They they were black women and everybody that has been uh, anybody that has been following NASA's history for quite some time is aware that it was a very uh, white organization so there wasn't uh, too much talk talk about even uh, even one black person working at NASA it was all the archival pictures and films that you see there's only white men almost including exclusively so it was a very um, revealing thing to hear that there is uh, there was a, a group of black women doing this very important work for the uh, space program so um, that's one movie that I'm really really looking forward to because I have heard uh, only good things about it and uh, yeah that's coming up was it the 9th yeah the 9th of March so that's one I'm really looking forward to and hope that you you, you get to see as well and then there's a uh, Logan which is um, part of the uh, X-Men uh, universe um, and it's a movie that um, I'm not sure that um, do I expect that much, but I'm I'm still gonna check it out because uh, some of the um, like YouTube-based uh, reviewers that I follow uh, seem to think that it's a very good movie and it it's a very good ending to the <laughs> Hugh Jackman era of. Uh, Wolverine, so uh, that gives me some hope. But because there's in that movie, there's uh, one of my absolute favorite actors of all time, and that's Sir Patrick Stewart. You might know him better from Star Trek: The Next Generation and Star Trek: The Next Generation movies, where he played Captain Sean Luke Picard of the USS Enterprise. So, um, and I have seen like X-Men 1, 2, 
one, two, and uh, three, and then X Men Apocalypse. Uh, and I didn't like the last X Men too much, but I'm really looking forward to this because there's a Hugh Jackman is back in a very in le in a leading role, and also because Patrick Stewart is back as uh, as Professor X. So um, that's something. I'm not a big X Men fan, but those two actors get me uh, get me to. Uh, go and check it out. It's coming out here in Finland on the 3rd of March. So, uh, it's this coming Friday. So that's what I'm gonna check out. And then there was one more. Oh yeah! Uh, uh, Kong Skull Island is coming out on uh, the 10th of March here in Finland again. And, um... Uh, <clears throat> Let's begin uh, from the basics for me. I saw one King Kong movie as a younger adult, which was directed by uh, Peter Jackson of uh, the uh, Lord of the Ri Ri Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy. And I happen to like all of those movies, but when I saw uh, this um, his version of King Kong, um, I was totally surprised. It was uh, a long, boring movie, but um, uh, but still, I saw it, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's all of the exposure kind of which I ever have had with King Kong. But again, I have heard good things about this uh, Kong Skull Island. Uh, so that and saw a couple of uh, trailers for it that were interesting, not not great, but interesting for me. I know that some people have been like jumping up and down, like these trailers are magical and uh, magical and great and all that stuff. But for me, they have been just good, but uh, good enough to get me to go to the movies. So. That's uh, King Skull Island is coming out here in Finland uh, uh, on the 10th of March also. So it seems that my March is going to be very interesting with regards to movies. So let's see if I can find something other interesting movies here. Um, the, because I'm scrolling down Finkino's website, website at the same time I'm recording this. Um, oh yeah, uh, there's uh, Beauty and the Beast, that is a live action um, version of this classic Disney uh, animated uh, movie that I happen to absolutely love as a child. I wore I wore down like my VHS in six months um, because I'm an 80s kid, so I used to use VHS. Uh, uh, so uh, that animated version of it was magical. It was one of the best Disney movies I have ever seen, and also I was very very scared of that movie as a child at uh, some points of the story. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing this uh, version of it. Although I have to be honest, I'm not I'm not um, the biggest fan of Disney making these live ac uh, these live action versions of their animated classics. It feel and this is just me, but it feels like they are out of ideas there. So they are like, hey, let's make a new version of this that and uh, uh, one more let's do let's do this so I don't know uh, maybe it's good maybe it's bad uh, but uh, let's see if I have time to go and check it out it's not the on in the top three upcoming movies my top three upcoming movies but uh, still if I have time and energy I might still go and check it out. 
uh, because it's uh, the one of my favorite actors from uh, the Harry Potter movies, Emma Watson, is playing the leading role there. So yeah, it's it's kind of my, kind of on my list, but it's not my. I'm not expecting it as much as somebody. Uh, some people are, because again, I I didn't like the trailers that much. I was like, they are good, but there's something about the design of the beast that strikes me as odd, and I don't know what it is, but there just is. And uh, maybe I'm just because I have grown up with the animated classic version of the story so maybe I'm biased and uh, I'm happy to say that I'm, I might be very much biased on this but uh, yeah the, uh, the trailers have seem, seemed a bit odd so I really hope that I'm wrong and I really hope that it will work out but I'm not keeping my uh, hopes up let's say it's so but I think that, uh, so look for those uh, movie reviews on my channel this month. Uh, uh, Kong Skull Island, uh, Hidden Figures, Logan and Beauty and the Beast. I will keep you up, uh, up to date on the timetables in which I'm going to review those and put them up on my channel. So, uh, hey guys, remember to, to subscribe, like and share these videos and that uh, that would help me so much that would make me so happy um but uh, yeah see you again soon when i'm making another video which is uh, most likely this weekend this coming weekend so see you uh, see you back here soon bye bye thanks